Okay, here's the voice memo app. Uh, you can use your iPhone as a portable recording device to record a personal note, music, classroom lecture. You can fine tune your recordings with editing tools like trim, replace, and resume. And again, uh, that takes a little bit of uh, practice to be able to do that correctly, to edit it. But creating a voice memo is really very simple. You open the voice memo app by just touching it. And uh, click on the red bottom button at the bottom. And it'll start recording. And when you want to stop, you touch the red square at the bottom and it'll stop recording. So that's the really simple part of it. Uh, once you have that recording, you can change the name of it. It says, you know, let's just say new recording. If you touch new recording, you can actually type in the name that you want. So in this case, I changed it from new recording to music. Editing is tricky. Again, you have those three little dots within a circle and that's your options. So if you touch that, you can choose uh, edit, record it, edit recording from the bottom. You can see copy it, you can share it, or you can edit it. So if you touch edit, then this, again, the symbol in the upper right corner, again, shows up and that's a crop icon. So you can cut portions of it off. So when you're editing it, you have this the whole big portion of your recording. Is, you see it at the top, but at the bottom you have a slider. And you can either slide from the left side to cut things off, or you can slide from the right. Once you do that, when you click play and you see the whole thing, then you can start sliding that back and forth to determine whether you want it cut off or, or uh, re-record or whatever. So you touch, uh, you can delete it or you can trim it. Once you've got what you want, you click touch, save, excuse me, save in the upper right-hand corner. And then you have to touch done once you've finished with that and it'll be saved. And so in this case, it went from a 20 second recording down to 11 second recording. And I seem to be falling over my tongue now. So I hope you got that. So in this case, um, yeah, I have several recordings on mine right now. And uh, I could go back and edit them even now. But it's kind of fun just to sometimes record things. You have to be careful that you're not breaking any rules like OSF rules or concert rules where they, where they say absolutely no recordings. Are there any other questions about recordings? Because it really is not that difficult, but are there any other questions? So app. So here's the Spotify app. And rather than going back to my slides, I'm just gonna show you from here. And you notice that the Spotify app has a black background. That makes a difference to me because it's it's a little bit more difficult for me to read a black white on a black background. But across the bottom of the screen is where the menu is. So right now I'm on home. And then the next one is search. The next one is your library. And the next one is premium if you actually want to give them money and not have ads, which again, I don't ever do. So this is, they have a lot of categories here. Popular radio, based on my recent listening, I like piano music. Um, I listen to music while I'm reading. So I have like instrumental, peaceful guitar, that kind of thing. 
I don't know why they gave me workout because I certainly don't do that. Um, and here are some that seems to be made for me. I don't, uh, uh, mixed tapes made for me. How they figured that out, I don't know. But um, so lots of different categories. All right, but see, I rarely, well, call me music for dogs. That's what I, I always put that on for the dogs. Smooth jazz, yes, I use that. Reading soundtrack, yes, I use that. So those are the, the really four things that I use with Spot. So they have a lot of things and they keep on bugging me if I want the, to uh, buy into Spotify, which I will probably never do. So there's a lot of things that you can see from that. If you can also search for music. When you click the search button, here's where all the categories show up. So if I want country music, it's going to show me all the options for country music sooner or later. It's thinking. So notice that none of this is live. This is all music that is previously recorded. So these are all their country things. So there's also another app that I want to show you. Oh, before I leave this, I want to I, I want to um, do commend this. This actually syncs with other devices. So if I have a Spotify membership without paying, you do have to log in to use Spotify. So they have my email address and my password. And because I have that, I can uh, use other devices and come up with the very same thing because it knows me. So if I use it on my iPad or my computer, it'll come up with the very same things again, of what I listen to and uh, you know, give me suggestions based on what I listen to. Uh, when you're listening to Spotify, it'll interrupt with an ad and it'll be the ad, the, it will be louder than the music that you're listening to. Yeah. And it will recommend uh, Spotify to you. That's that's what I really think is is annoying. I'd like to show you another one though called Simple Radio. And you can see it's right next to Spotify here. It's a blue icon and it looks like it has a little antenna, a box with a little antenna, simple radio. And I kind of like this little simple thing because it comes up with uh, recommended radio stations and they're from all over the place. So um, here's one from Vancouver, Washington. And it'll start playing in a second. Zero, zero. Known worldwide as the most consistently fascinating, informative, and, and unique again, program on ads. radio, the Jeff Rents program can be yours to listen to anytime, anywhere, whenever okay, you here's want one to hear. From London. Oh, this is interesting. This is from Dubai. Michael Kincaid. 